The United States Senator Chuck Grassley questioned Attorney General Merrick Garland on the Hunter Biden investigation. Let's take a listen to what they both had to say. Uh, if the Justice Department received information that foreign persons had evidence of improper or unlawful financial payment uh, paid to elected officials or other politically exposed persons, and those payments may have influenced policy decisions, would that pose a national security concern and demand a full investigation? And when Ray was here, he seemed to a answer that question uh, in, in uh, uh, that it was a national security concern. I want your opinion. Uh, in the way that you're, if I, if I follow the question exactly right, if it's an agent of a foreign government asking um, uh, someone uh, and paying someone to uh, do things to support that foreign government in secret, yes, uh, I definitely think that would be a national security problem. Yeah, so we're talking about Hunter Biden a lot lately in the context of that uh, that self-described whistleblower, former business associate, um, who's seeking, uh, who's in being charged with weapons dealing, and uh, you know wants Israel to help him out, uh, et cetera. But says you know that he has knowledge of these shady business dealings, this lobbying on behalf of a Chinese government subsidiary. The, that was you know, seeking deals that, that made payments. And, uh, and, you know, I think there's real questions about uh, how eagerly the FBI has taken up the Hunter Biden question. And I always want to be cautious about it because we don't know. It hasn't been fully investigated. And we don't know that there's actually solid connections to the president. But we do have knowledge of a, it seems pretty clear that there was attempted influence peddling on the part of Hunter Biden, and uh, and and look, there's good there's good reason to be upset about how the Trump children and their influence peddling might have affected public policy. You know, fine, and and there are many Democrats who want that investigated and taken yeah. more seriously, more thoroughly. But yeah. look, there's a there's there are questions here, and it it seems, if anything, the FBI had a had a tendency to. At, at least at some point, to not to want to punt the Hunter Biden question because it was too close to the election. Also, they had concerns that it was that Russian dis, it's Russian disinformation to be too focused on him. Uh, it's taken years, you know. Now the Republicans are in charge in Congress, uh, at least in in the House. So I think we'd like to see an investigation. Yeah, look, I think that too many media outlets dismissed this story as a kind of soft corruption. I said, that's not a problem. It was a problem when it was Trump openly appointing his not qualified children to negotiate peace in the Middle East and all of these kinds of things. And it's a problem. Soft corruption shouldn't be, I think, so accepted on the Democratic side as well. Even without more of the idea that someone who has no knowledge of natural gas or energy is being paid, these obscene sums that Hunter Biden was being paid to have this outpost in critical countries like Ukraine. It's, it's unseemly. We used to live in a country where uh, Jimmy Carter gave up his peanut farm because of the optics of having a potential conflict of interest. And now we're all expected to shrug our shoulders at Jared Kushner sitting in, you know, uh, the, the box with Saudis during the World Cup and, and, and Hunter Biden doing what he was doing in Ukraine. That being said, there hasn't been a smoking gun. I think that perhaps there have been, not been the same opportunities, to your point, now that um, mm -hmm. Republicans have the House, there might be more avenues for them to investigate and find something else just to see if the FBI has been negligent in their investigation. Fair enough. It is possible, however, that there just isn't a smoking gun because there's such political appetite, obviously, for finding something that really connects Hunter Biden to Joe Biden. And for all of this time to have passed, I do think that while the initial disinterest in reporting on this from liberal media is wrong and suspicious and inappropriate. At, at a certain point, the just asking questions does become an effort to discredit Biden where there isn't really a there there. And so I, I am actually hopeful that one of the silver linings of the Republicans having the House is that they are as thorough as possible so there's no more excuses for there not having been something to connect Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. I think it's perfectly possible. And if there is something, it's in the interest of our democracy to discover it. Um, but it's also perfectly possible that even with the Republicans in charge in the House now that there's not going to be anything there. Well, when asked about whether the administration's conflict of interest in the matter might affect the investigation into Hunter Biden, Garland said this. 
sources indicate that the Justice Department and the FBI had at one time over a dozen sources that provided potentially criminal information relating to Hunter Biden. The alleged volume and similarity of the information would demand that the Justice Department investigate the truth and accuracy of the information. According to uh, what st accordingly, what steps has the Justice Department taken to determine the truth and accuracy of information provided? Uh, Congress and the American people, I think, have a right to know. Um, so, uh, as the committee well knows from my confirmation hearing, I promise uh, to leave. I promised to leave the matter of Hunter Biden in the hands of the U.S. Attorney uh, for the District of Delaware, who was appointed uh, in the previous administration. So any information like that should have gone uh, or should or should have uh, gone to that U.S. Attorney's offices and the FBI squad that's working uh, with him. I have pledged not to interfere uh, with that investigation, and I uh, have carried through on my pledge. So I mean, what are you going to say? It, look, it's a very difficult situation. And I understand why conservatives are skeptical that, given the power that a president has, regardless of what party they belong to, they don't have an enormous amount of influence in insulating themselves from these kind of charges. I think the irony is that because Donald Trump was so hubristic and sometimes sloppy with the way he went about doing things, hopping on a phone call and getting recorded, trying to convince um, Gathensberger to, to throw the election in his favor in Georgia and things like that, that you know, there's this belief that, you know, we're going to find something as obvious and silly as some of the things that have come up with Donald Trump, oh, ca you know, a cache of documents or whatever, although mm -hmm. Biden obviously did that, too. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the, the real world in these intelligence agencies and the powers of the discretion of the president are such that there's also a lot of ability to um, cover up any impropriety. So we'll see what happens. And the FBI is just much more uh, political in nature than a lot of people wanted to believe. Uh, of course, we've seen this tremendous transformation where like the FBI is now more trusted by or sorry, law enforcement is is trusted in some context by liberals, yeah. by viewers of CNN and MSNBC and conservatives uh, it were formerly thought of as the pro law enforcement people just have tremendous distrust um, based on the idea that the FBI and other agencies were really against Trump. Um, and, and then based on, you know, the emails we've seen showing how they tried to uh, to shift the parameters of the debate or, or limit, the, stop any debate on certain topics like Hunter Biden, COVID and others. And that is something that really irritates um, a lot of conservatives. It irritates some on the left or some on the dissident left, people who used to call themselves left. It doesn't seem to irritate uh, mainstream media cable hosts that much. It clearly doesn't irritate Joy Reid very much. We talked about that on the show. And uh, and so, so it's becoming an you know, you play to your strengths, you play to your base. It, it, it's it's there's incredible, a, but the FBI is becoming an agency that's captured by like mainstream media voices. Yeah, I mean. Or that wants to be in concert with them. The people who are not gonna be interested in the Hunter Biden for, story. For Democrats to not, okay, there's a world where you could see this, even if you like Joe Biden, like you could see this as a political liability and want to get to the bottom of it mm -hmm. before it's too late when there's an opportunity to pick someone else in a primary. Even yeah. if you like Joe Biden, just because you're like, well, this is too risky. You yeah. know, there's a reason to have a moral commitment, obviously, to saying, well, I get to pick in a Democratic primary who is representing my side. And I would prefer to pick someone who didn't have these kinds of allegations against them. But what we saw back in 2020 was whether it's a Me Too allegation, mm -hmm. whether it's Bernie Sanders trying to point to Joe Biden's record on having historically tried to cut Social Security, um, advance the crime bill. You know, I remember this moment in, back in 2020 where Joy and Reid openly argued after that last debate, who cares about records? Why is Bernie bringing up Biden's record? What does a record matter? And that's kind of where we're on politics, where you get to this team sport place where people don't realize it's not just about you versus the Republicans. It's not about Democrats versus Republicans. There is a primary process in which we get to pick the best representative of the interests of the people. But too often, media figures don't even engage in the possibility that perhaps the people that are currently in office aren't actually the best that America has to offer. And so we get very few opportunities to make a better choice. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we will continue to follow that, and we'll be back with more Rising right after these messages.